Walter Longo, PhD, is a professor of gerontology and biological sciences and the director of the Longevity Institute at the University of Southern California's Leonard Davis School of Gerontology. Professor Longo has 30 years of experience in the field of longevity and healthy nutrition. His most recent studies focus on the use of fast mimicking diet interventions, which activate stem cell based regeneration to promote longevity. In 2018, Time magazine named Professor Longo as one of the 50 most influential people in healthcare for his research on fast mimicking diets as a way to improve health and prevent disease. And with that, let me start the interview. Professor of Gerontology, USC, and a leading expert in how diet and lifestyle impacts health span. So welcome to Modern Health Span. It's a pleasure to have you on our channel. Well, thanks for having me. So I'd like to start kind of basically in asking about uh, fasting in general. So could you explain what is the benefit of fasting? Why does going without food actually make us more healthy? Yes, actually, um, I always say fasting uh, doesn't mean anything. It's kind of like saying eating. Uh, so fasting eventually will kill you. Um, but, uh, but I think there are, um, there are uh, very specific ways of fasting that can be very beneficial. And, uh, and I always point to two that I think are particularly um, strong, both in the efficacy domain and in the safety domain. And one is 12 hours of fasting every day and 12 hours of eating, right? So that seems to be very, very strong in the sense that lots of benefits, but very, very little or, or no negative studies associated with that. And, uh, and the other one um, that uh, you know, we developed is the fasting making diet, maybe done two, three times a year. Um, and again, this is trying to get the common denominator of efficacy and safety. So potentially, you know, 16 hours of fasting every day could be more beneficial, but it also comes with lots of side effects. And potentially, you know, doing a fasting making diet one, twice a month could be very beneficial. But, you know, we don't know. We, we haven't seen side effects uh, yet, but that doesn't mean they're not there. And so eventually, you know, if you do something um, too many times, uh, it could it could cause problems, right? So if I wanted to do like, and I will, we definitely want to dive into those two topics uh, later. So if I wanted to do like a longer fast, uh, is there? Do you, have you studied and what would the trade offs be for like a multi day fast? Do, do you see those as being beneficial? Again. Uh... <laughs> It, um, th there is a reason why the FDA is there, right? So it's, it's there to, um, to prevent, I mean, because otherwise we could say, you know, anything that comes out of a lab, why don't we just, why don't we just give it to people, you know? Uh, there's lots of drugs and lots of things that could be given to people. Um, so I think it's a matter of, of you know, what, what do we mean by multi-day, right? And, and, uh, and what does it contain? So um, I think if by multi-day we mean, uh, let's say, 10 days, and water-only fasting, I would say that should only be done in a specialized clinic. Um, and and I, I think 99% of doctors that work in the field will say the same. Um, you know, so could you do it at home and be okay uh, for most of the times? Yes, probably. But eventually, um, it might be the wrong day uh, with the wrong combination, and that could do tremendous damage. I'll give you an example. One lady... In Italy, I uh, was uh, given a 10-day water-only fast by a doctor, by a, a doctor. And she had, uh, I think, multiple sclerosis. And she ended up dying, you know. Um, uh, you know, I, I forget how many days into the fast. They started internal bleeding and then dying. So, so yeah, so people should keep in mind that um, all kinds of things can be beneficial, but... Uh, you know, of course, that's a very rare and specific situation, but you, you can't uh, even uh, allow that very rare and specific situation. So I would say that, you know, this is what we focus on for healthy, relatively healthy people on a five-day fasting-making diet uh, that is relatively, 
high in calories, right? 1,100 calories on day one and then goes down to 800 calories. Now, in cancer trials, for example, we, we, we've gone down much lower, you know, even two or 300 calories a day in some of the trials that we run. Why do we have, we have oncologists there? We're, we're fighting something much uh, uh, tougher to fight. And so we, we had to do some compromises, but um, uh, for, for, I think for good reasons. So actually, so let's, let's switch to the fast mimicking diet. So could you explain what is the fast mimicking, mimicking diet and why did you develop it? Yes. Yeah, so, so the, uh, the first thing mimicking diet is really uh, the result of uh, us trying to do the water only fasting with uh, cancer patients. And the cancer patient basically now wanting to do water only fasting, and the oncologists are very worried about their patients doing water only fasting. Uh, so um, we um, we went to the, uh, the the government and we asked um, to uh, to uh, fund the fasting mimicking diet development, you know, identification and development. So this was fu first funded by the NCI, the National Cancer Institute, and then by the uh, National Institute on Aging. Uh, at the, of the NIH, so um, and, and so it's a it's a low calorie, uh, high fat, low protein, low sugar, um, vegan diet that lasts anywhere from four days to seven days. That those are the the ranges we've been using in the in the clinic uh, thus far. Yeah. So, at at a kind of mechanistic level, how is that mimicking diet? Uh, how is that mimicking fasting? Yeah, I think it probably uh, when we called that we had we didn't know there was going to be superiority in some cases to the not just in safety but also in efficacy. Um, so uh, it's probably fasting and in, I mean um, mimicking and enhancing diet. I think that's what it should be called. Um, and so it mimics fasting in the sense that um, it lowers uh, IGF one, it increases IGF PP one, it lowers uh, sugar. And increases ketone bodies, uh, you know, in both you, mice and humans, in, in a way that is equivalent to uh, what can be achieved with water-only fasting. In some cases, you may have to go one extra day with uh, FMD compared to water-only fasting, but uh, but the results are are, are pretty similar. So uh, that's the, the mimicking part. Uh, the enhancing part, I think, it has to do with certain the safety. Uh, so we were only fasting. There could be issues with, uh, beside the burden, um, low blood pressure, hypoglycemia, um, you know, low salt content of, of the diet. Of course, there's no salt at all. And, um, um, and um, so, uh, yeah, so the, the safety is, is, a, is an issue. But also the, uh, we published a few years ago uh, in, a, in a study of the microbiota um, that, uh, we suspect that the, um, so the fasting mimicking diet, uh, not only I, we developed it for the fasting mimicking properties, but also with ingredients that were common to very long, long lived people, right? So Okinawa, Sardinia, Loma Linda, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a mostly, it's a vegan diet essentially for five days. So, and, and it's using those ingredients that are very, very, much associated with longevity extension, olive oil, um, you know, uh, vegetables, uh, nuts, uh, etc. Um, so, so maybe because of that content, uh, we sh we show that it, it it promoted the growth of uh, protective microbes, so Lactobacillus, Bifidobacteria, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It really, really revolutionized, uh, at least in mice, the uh, the composition of the microbiome. And um, and we and, and water only fasting didn't do that. Uh, and in fact, water only fasting in an IBD inflammatory bowel disease model increased the leakage leakage of the gut, which makes sense, right? So if the gut senses no nothing going through it, it may become more permeable. Um, and so yeah, so then then I think we're starting to show some evidence for. Uh, the enhancing uh, uh, properties. Now you know that doesn't mean that water only fasting. It's not beneficial. Even in that paper, it was beneficial. It decreased inflammation. It promoted gut stem cell uh, activation, but it did not, for example, return the the length of the colon or the small intestine of the mice to the normal uh, range um, compared to the high inflammatory range, as it happened for the for the fasting mimicking diet. 
Can you look at, are you planning to look at the microbiome for humans with, with FMD? Yes, we already are looking at it. So we're analyzed it and we're hopefully going to publish it within the next six months. Yeah. So these are for uh, people that have done the, the FMD for, uh, uh, for cycles, normal people, and then we are also getting the microbiota for cancer patients that have uh, done, you know, more cycles of the of the fasting making diet. Okay.